We continue to celebrate National Dairy Month with a delicious recipe for dinner any night of the week. Chef Tyler Mater from the Mater Menu joins us with his Wisconsin Dairyland casserole. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Hey, Tyler. Good. Oh, my Doing gosh. Great. What better way to start off any day than with just a ton of dairy from Wisconsin, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> I love it. You know, it's going to be a good day. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the more we can pack in, the better. This is awesome. This is our Dairyland casserole. And let me know when you're ready for it because it's a winner. Now we're ready. Hey. All right, show us how right. it's done. Sounds good. So first thing we're going to do is celebrate Wisconsin dairy, right? We've got four different types of cheese today. So we've got Sargento cheese from Plymouth, Wisconsin. We've got a combination of two different incredible cheeses, cottage cheese and sour cream from Westby, Wisconsin. If you've not been to Westby, Wisconsin, check it out. They have some of the best cottage cheese and sour cream in the country up by La Crosse. And then, of course, Philadelphia cream cheese. A quick little nugget, though. Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, produces the milk and the cream for Philadelphia cream cheese. So uh, there's your little starter. I Pretty did not cool. know that. There you go. Must have. Little something, little nugget for the day. Okay, here we go. We're gonna jump right in. Again, Dairyland casserole, a true celebration of Wisconsin. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and boil up some noodles. Now, when you bring your water temperature up, make sure you add a little bit of salt once you get that boiled to add some flavor, specifically. Okay. So we've gone ahead as a matter of time. We've actually done our noodles in advance. Second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and brown up some ground beef, okay? So I've been browning this ground beef up right over here. It looks really, really good and smells really, really good. And then we're gonna add a couple, I'm gonna turn the heat off here. You can see the way this is cooking up so nice, look at that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a couple different quick ingredients to it, okay? So I've got two cups of tomato sauce, which I'm gonna add right in here. That's gonna be incorporated in, can, can you hear that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh Good yeah, going. that's some. That's the magic. We're really cooking here, by the way. We don't we don't mess around. We actually cook. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna mix in our tomato sauce right into there, and then just a dash. We call for about an eighth of a teaspoon, if you will, of Worcestershire sauce, just to give it a little bit of that additional flavor. As you can see, it's just a touch. How do you spell that? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, you spell that W O R C E S T E R S H I R E. <laughs> You're a good sport, so, Tyler. That you know what? If I was in the spelling bee right now, I think I'd have been out. <laughs> if I can't look at the uh, look at the actual bottle itself. So uh, this is incorporating perfectly. That tomato and Worcestershire give it a little bit of additional depth to our ground beef specific. And that's it. We're going to incorporate that. It's really that simple, okay? Now, it's a matter of combining ingredients. I've gone ahead in advance, and I've combined a combination of a couple of those dairy products, right? We've incorporated eight ounces of our cream cheese. I've added about a quarter of a cup of our Sargento. And I've added uh, a one cup of our cottage cheese from Westby and a half cup of the sour cream. Those have all been pre-mixed, again, just to kind of save a little bit of time, okay? And, of course, we've got some Wisconsin butter, which we're going to go ahead and use just to kind of soften up the bottom of this casserole dish real quick. So I think it releases really nice and, of course, gives the bottom a little bit of flavor. We always season everything on the top with cheese and salt and pepper, but doesn't it hurt to add a little bit of butter for release. And, again, also add a little additional flavor. All right, now it's a matter of combining. It's that simple. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna layer our first layer right here with our noodles, which we've cooked up. Again, don't forget to add a little bit of salt. That's gonna be our base, if you will, what right kind to of the bottom. What those? Is, I can't see. Is it just a spaghetti noodle? It's actually, it's a, it's a wide ribbon noodle, uh, which it's like a, it's, they call it the egg noodle, basically, which is we're big fans okay. of. You can use spaghetti, linguine, fettuccine, but I like the wider ribbon noodles because they actually hold the sauce, a little bit of greater depth and additional uh, ingredients that we have incorporated here. So, and then we're gonna go ahead and add our second layer, which is actually gonna be our combination of different cheeses right here, okay? Look at that, I don't know if you can Ooh, see that, yum. but this is, there is so much Wisconsin love in here. <laughs> and I mean that sincerely, you think about our Wisconsin farmers and what they put in to the cream and the cottage cheese and the sour cream, just to make sure that you are in love with America's dairy <laughs> when you're at home cooking. And we are doing just that today. Look at that, all that goes right on top. Mm -hmm. That's our second layer right there. And we're gonna go ahead and just spread that out. And the great thing here is it's a completely layered casserole dish. So you get a combination of different flavors as you work through each individual layer. So that's simple. We go ahead and put that right there. And now we've got that combination, remember, of that beautiful ground beef that we've seasoned up with a little bit of our tomato sauce here and also a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. That's gonna go right head on the top. It's Boom. a lot like a lasagna, isn't it? 
You know what, that's a great point. It's got some different layers going on, which is really, really nice. Now what you could also do if you wanted is on top of the cheese, you can actually go ahead and you can add another layer of noodles if you want, which is absolutely mm. fantastic, just depending on how you want to go ahead and do it. So um, you can add noodles if you want on top of it. You can just finish it off right here with our third layer of our ground beef and tomato sauce and our Worcestershire sauce. But then I love to do one big finish, which of course you have to do in Wisconsin, right? Cheese. We got to finish off. Cheese, winner, <laughs> <laughs> winner. We've got our Sargento cheese over the top. So this is the ultimate celebration, honestly, of Wisconsin. Our dairy farmers are literally the absolute best and they put their heart and soul into everything that you enjoy, those flavors around the table. And those flavors, of course, equal memories, right? So thank you to Wisconsin dairy farmers for putting together these amazing dishes. And we happen to have a finished product what right did here. You, what did you yeah. bake that at, Tyler, about 350? I'm sorry, yep, exactly, about 350. And again, we pre-cooked everything, right? The ground beef's cooked, the cheese is combined, the noodles are done. All you wanna do is just warm that up all the way through. So 350 is perfect, Molly, for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. Just make sure it's cooked all the way through. And then all of a sudden, guess what you're doing? You are loving Wisconsin. Digging in. Delicious, Yum. Tyler. Mm. And you can check out this dish, incredible food photos, recipes, and past episodes of the Mater Menu on Tyler's Instagram, at the Mater Menu. And don't forget that you can win a year's worth of Wisconsin-made ice cream, courtesy of the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin. Go to tmj4.com slash dairy and share your ice cream traditions with the next generation. The winner is going to receive $400 gift certificate for Cedar Crest ice cream.